now that we've got an image that we've saved onto the computer on a hard drive, we're going to open it in Adobe Bridge and make some basic edits. So first of all, let's open up Photoshop and Adobe Bridge. So I'm just going to click on Photoshop and open that up. It's going to open up Photoshop and then back to uh, the Creative Cloud. And I'm going to go down to Bridge and open up Bridge. And it's going to open up Bridge right here. And here's the image that uh, uh, we downloaded in the last video. So I'm going to click on this image and uh, and we're going to I want to edit it in camera raw. That's where I actually make the uh, the adjustment. So I'm going to right click on this image and say open in camera raw. And then camera raw opens up right here. <laughs> I have this frightening picture of me. And I'm going to click on this basics. I have all these options right here that I can use. I'm going to click on basics and it gives these basics basic edits. Now, if we look right here at my uh, face, I think it's a little dark. Uh, not because of my skin color, but because uh, it's a little bit underexposed. So I'm going to click on this handy dandy auto button and it brightens it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do another thing right here on the white balance. I think the white balance needs to be adjusted. So I'm going to just click right here where some of the lights reflecting off my gray uh, uh, sweater thing. And I click on that and that's kind of adjust the white balance. And if I'm not happy with it, because I think I'm, uh, it's skewed over into the red a little bit, eh, and just, I think, I think it got it pretty good. So I'm going to just double click on that slider that I, that I dragged, and it's going to take it back to where it was. I think I need to do the exposure a little bit more too. So I'm just going to go right here, up the exposure a little bit, and uh, just so you know, in uh, Bridge, I'm sorry, in Camera Raw. We're, the adjustments we're making, if you just go from the top and keep going down, it uh, that's a good order to do your things in. Adobe makes a nice workflow that way. I'm going to contrast. I think the contrast is good. I'm just going to play with a little bit. I'm going to reduce the contrast a little bit. If you'll notice this plus and minus thing right here, I, I think going this way, the contrast is too harsh. I'm going this way. I'm going to take it about to a minus seven or so. And if I'm if I still don't like it, I can just double click on it and it takes it back to zero. See that? But I'm going to move back to negative seven. I think the contrast is too high on it. Shadows. Notice how when I clicked on the auto button, it moved my shadows up that way. It moves my whites up a little bit. I think I'm going to move the whites down just a little bit. And and the blacks. I can turn. This makes the blacks the dark areas a little higher. And then texture and clarity. I'm going to move the clarity down a little bit. And I'm going to dehaze it just a little. And I'm going to, I think that's all I'm going to do on those. Now, all these things right here have options. Uh, if we go to curve or detail, um, th these are all things that you can play with. Like, say I want to sharpen this image. Note if I move it over. It's going to do some sharpening of the, you know, how it looks. Uh, I'm not going to do anything there. Uh, the optics, there's some things we can play with. I mean, I am going to go to the effects, and I want to add a little vignette around this. So I'm just going to grab this. And notice how it may, adds this kind of white. That's called a vignette, that thing on the edge. If I go the other way, it adds a dark vignette. A lot of times when I do portraits, I'll do a dark vignette around it. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you in this quick video is a uh, crop tool. I'm going to click on that crop tool because I want to crop this down. Um, and we can use some of these presets. Say I want this to be a 5x7 uh, preset. I can also uh, change the, um, I don't want to rotate the image. I want to change the uh, aspect there. Uh, instead of 7x5, I made it five by seven then that's not inches that we're talking about that's like a ratio so if i grab in here notice how it moves the image in there i'm going to zoom it in just a little bit because i just want this part of my face and then i'm going to accept it by hitting enter notice how it cropped it in 
and I'm going to go back to basic and I'm going to do an auto again eh, and I still like the exposure a little higher and the contrast a little lower and then I'm going to come back down to the uh, effects I'm going to add a darker vignette around it there we go and now the next button I want to press because I probably want to do a few things in Photoshop is open in Photoshop and that'll be the next video